Maybe you wouldn't be a great lawyer. Like, it's certainly possible. Most people aren't. But that doesn't mean there isn't something you could be great at. There's lots of hierarchies to attempt to climb. And if you fail in one, go try in another. But the point is, you're still trying to aim for the top. And what the hell are you going to do if you don't try to aim for the top? You know, flap about uselessly and whine about your life? It's not helpful. It'll just make you miserable. You're not reliable to anyone. You can't help out in a crisis. Perhaps there's another way that you could look at the world and number, another way that you could act in the world. So what it would reflect back to you would be much better than what it reflects back to you now. And so if your life isn't everything it could be, you could ask yourself, well, what would happen if you just stopped wasting the opportunities that are in front of you? You'd be, who knows how much more efficient? 10 times more efficient. 20 times more efficient. You have no idea how efficient, efficient people get. Be an honest person and work and get to the top of whatever it is that you want to get to the top of. You know, and, and stand up for yourself like a respectable human being and be a bit of a light on the world instead of a light. Get yourself educated, man. Read some books, learn to talk, learn to think. Make yourself into something. Get the hell out there and make the world that put you here happy that you were put there. You get your act together a bit, discipline yourself, see if you can learn to tell the truth, concentrate on something for a year or two, you could be a bloody world beater. What would you want to be king? You could say king of the world or king of your own soul. What do you want to subordinate yourself to? How about your heroic willingness to encounter the unknown and articulate it and share that with people? There's no nobler vision than that. No one can tell you how it will work for you. It's the thing that your destiny is to discover that. And you have to make, you have to make the decisions to begin with. It's like, because you can't do this without commitment. You have to commit to it first. You have to say, I'm going to act as if being is good. I'm going to act as if truth is the pathway to enlightenment. I'm going to act as if I should pursue the deepest meaning possible in my life. And the other thing that's so interesting about being alive is that you're all in. No matter what you do, you're all in. This is going to kill you. So I think you might as well play the most magnificent game you can while you're waiting. Because do you have anything better to do? Really? Why not pick the best thing possible that you could do? Why not do that? Maybe you could justify your wretched existence to yourself that way. I think you could. Because you're more powerful than you think. Way more powerful than you think. I mean, God only knows what you are in the final analysis. You're blind to your own weaknesses, but you're also blind to your own strengths.